Back to my next video. Today we have a real treat. We're going to take a look at a beautiful, beautiful van and we're going to meet Bev, my new friend. Hi, Bev. Hi, Bob. Nice to be here. <laughs> and uh, I do love the, your van. I think it's fantastic. Thank you. I, I love it too. And it really is starting to feel like my home now. So you're not uh, a full time, are you? Well, I've been on the road since November. I do have a home that I pop into occasionally, but I have spent way more time in my van than I have at my house. I pop in there when I need to get some work done and then I'm pretty much ready to go again. So you're maintaining a home base that you're in and out of, but you kind of think of the van as a home away from home. Oh, absolutely. I consider the van more my home than I do my house right now. Yeah. <laughs> And, you know, I, sometimes I give the impression that it's an all or nothing, but it isn't at all. It isn't. It's the best of both worlds. Have you always had an urge to, to travel and see things? Uh, I really got the strong travel bug about five years ago. I went through a divorce. I found myself with no job responsibilities, limited family responsibilities, and a revenue stream without having to work. And... Um, my daughter asked me, you know, mom, what are you going to do with your life? You know, what are you going to do now? And in this conversation, she told me about a friend of hers who had created this bucket list called 100 Things. And she said, mom, why don't you write a bucket list? So I did. So just writing the list became a spiritual journey for me because I had never really given myself permission to want big things. You know, as a woman, as a single mom, as a business owner with employees, it's always about someone else. You know, so about five years ago, it became more about me and my desires and kind of going out there and taking back the pieces that I had given away over the years. You've, you've devoted really most of your life to others and uh, making their lives better and now it's your turn. Absolutely. And I still feel a commitment to making other people's right. lives better, but now I give from a place of overflow right. and not from a place of obligation or um, like I have to do it. Right. Yeah. So for most of your life it was even if you had to suffer, you served, but now oh, absolutely. you get to thrive and serve. And it, you give that way from a different place. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. How has it been for you as a solo woman on the road? Have you been fearful? Uh, good responses? I, I have not been fearful for one moment. I feel just as safe in my van as I do in my house. I mean, if not more so, I mean, you've mentioned it before in my van, if I felt threatened or something felt off, you just get in it and drive away. That's it. And it sounded like your daughter was really encouraging and uh, thought this was a great idea. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep. She has this interesting thing of being uh, appalled and proud of me, like all in <laughs> one, you know, <laughs> all in one ball. <laughs> Uh, and so you've worked hard all your life and you set yourself up where you can have your best life right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's like I was an 18-year-old single mom. I got my first child support check when my daughter was 15 years old. Uh, I grew up with a work hard mentality. Right. And I did that for a long time until someone said one day, Beverly, why do you work so hard? Why don't you work smart? And I was like, dang, I never thought of that. <laughs> So that's what I do now. I, I work smart. I set up my income as passive income with multiple streams of revenue. This is the golden years for you. It is. Great, great. It is. And part of your idea of the golden years is the travel and the adventure and seeing things. Yes. And a van just makes that uh, perfectly easy and wonderful. I've loved the van. I've loved being out uh, like the word meander has a different yes. meaning to me now. Like I'm not in a hurry to get from point A to point B. Right. And I love just meandering. And if I see something interesting, turn around and go back and look at it, you know, or just get out of the van and sit there and spend some time there. Right. And you have a, uh, a YouTube channel where you document all your, all your travels and you're getting ready and all that. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, the YouTube channel is called Becoming Bev. And I named it that because this is part of uh, 
reclaiming myself, you mm -hmm. know, going back and taking back the pieces that we gave away. Yes. So yes, Becoming Bev. Wonderful. So everyone should go to Becoming Bev and follow her story and see how she did this. Absolutely. And what crazy thing she's doing next. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people then probably say, well, why did you choose a van and not an RV? The van fell into my lap. I really wasn't planning van life. I wasn't even looking for a van. My best friend Yvonne uh, is into glamping. Mm -hmm. So she um, loves to keep busy. So she bought this van as a project just for something to do and did the original decor on the inside and everything. But she's got a beautiful uh, mini Winnebago, mini Winnie. Mm -hmm. And that's what she camps in. So she finished the van and she's like, Bev, I'm thinking I'm gonna sell the van. Are you interested in it? And at first I was kind of on the fence. I'm like, I don't know. And she's like, well, come camp with me. So I drove to Midlothian, Texas. She and I camped for the weekend at Lloyd Park and I fell in love. I fell in love with this van. I bonded with this vehicle. I gave her a name. I refer to her as Jennifer. Yeah, I, I've had someone say, you know, because I just got a lot of upgrades and they're like, why didn't you just buy an RV? Right. I didn't want an RV. I want this van. <laughs> right. And it's uh, the gas mileage and yeah. the mobility and driving it around cities and uh, everything yep. is yep. so much better. Yep. And a little bit of a challenge, too. You know, I think that's part of this life is accepting the fact that there should be some challenges in life. And you have some challenges in a van that you wouldn't in an RV. I think that's good. Oh, absolutely. Well, uh, would you mind if we looked around and saw your fantastic van? I would love to show you my van. <laughs> Why don't we do that then? So folks, let's go ahead and take a, a look around and see Jennifer. Jennifer Vaniston. <laughs> the, <laughs> Jennifer Vaniston, what a great name. Okay, so, uh, so give us the, the big tour of Jennifer. So I guess starting in the front, I have uh, an Epicool 55 refrigerator sitting between the seats there. I Velcroed a tray on top of that. Mm -hmm. So it gives me a little uh, place to set things when I'm driving. And also um, when I turn the passenger seat around, it gives me like a side table. So then I also have uh, right here underneath this pretty little cover that I made is my cassette toilet. Mm -hmm. I Velcroed the sponge holder and the uh, dishwashing liquid right there. It has an electric pump that I press here and just turn the faucet mm -hmm. and I've got running water. I have my uh, propane stove mm -hmm. down here, my little gas one that typically when I'm heating things up, it sits right here. I went with a butane bottle in that just because it's easier than the propane. Right. So that goes right there. How do you access your water then? Uh, let me show you that. Okay. Oh, you got two doors. Of I course. have two yeah. doors. <laughs> Some of these Chevys come with uh, two doors. Which is a, it's perfect. A, yes, the two doors are a big bonus. They are, I think they're wonderful. So I have access to the sink. Back here is the electric pump, fresh water, gray water, so under here, I have two pretty good sized dresser drawers. Wow, that is very big. I keep everything in packing cubes. So it's with labels on them. So it's easy to find everything that I'm looking for. And it's important for me to keep it organized or else it feels too cluttered and chaotic in here. I have my uh, Jackery lithium battery tucked mm. in mm -hmm. right there. Right. And, and you have solar then? I don't have any solar. Just charging off the uh, engine? Yeah, it charges off of the engine or when I'm plugged in, it charges off of shore power or I have a little foldable uh, solar panel mm -hmm. and I really haven't used it yet. You know, it's done a pretty good job keeping it charged up just by when I run the van and have shore power. Mm -hmm. So I have lots of little storage nooks in the van. So like in this space, I keep like pens and scissors and things like that. In here, I have extra coffee cups and coffee. I love this storage nook back here. It's got uh, just crafting supplies, Fabri-Tac, Velcro, that sort of thing. All of my cords and then my makeup and shower supplies are right there. I hung this little mirror up here and decorated it. So I have a place to get ready in the mornings. <laughs> 
And then I've got, you know, the same on this side. I've got several bins with like uh, flashlights, a few groceries and uh, toilet paper and cleaning supplies in that one. I also like these little trays. I got two of those. It gives me a place to set my coffee or my drink if I'm sitting in bed. And then also it can work as a little extension. So like if I'm cooking, I have my stove set out here and then I can have my extra supplies right here on the little tray. So it gives me a bit more counter space. Mm -hmm. I've had a couple of people give me a hard time about the bed. Like it takes up so much space. You could do other things with that space. And I don't want the extra space. I love my big bed. <laughs> I got a Zenus memory foam mattress for it. It is just as comfortable. It's the same mattress that we use for our Airbnbs. Mm -hmm. So it's a super comfortable bed setup. I like nice linens. I like pretty things. And I feel the same way about my bed. I think a good night's sleep is important. And I sleep so good in here. I love it in here. It really feels like home. I wake up in the mornings. I press my little remote control and turn the soft lights on and I smile. You know, it's I love waking up in a pretty space. This is kind of just an extra storage of things that I don't really need that I'm probably gonna end up dropping off. And then this is my generator. I also went with a swivel cargo rack on this because I needed to be able to open both doors on the van. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty easy. I just pull this pin and lift that up and it swivels out. Nice. And it swivels completely out of the way. Nice. And then just the standard storage underneath. Yeah, so I made the storage high enough under it that bins would fit under. Mm -hmm. So this is my dirty clothes bag. I just stuffed my dirty clothes in here behind the bed. Good when idea. I'm ready to do laundry. I just pull it out and take it to do laundry. Uh, I've got a couple of bins stored under here, you know, including a bin full of bungees and cords and things like that. And then on this section, I have my camping table, camping chairs, and a couple of backpacks. Also further back, I've got a set of mechanics tools and my jack and just things that I don't use as often, but they're under there if I need to get to them. Well, you have done, uh, you and your friend uh, who originally bought it have done a fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you. She loves seeing this van out on the road and she loves seeing me out adventuring in it. Right. Yeah. So from here on, you just keep going. That's uh, how many things have you done on your bucket list? Uh, 54 things. So, so 46 I got, yeah, left. I got stopped when COVID hit. Right. So this is my new passion, this and my YouTube channel and right. uh, just adventuring in the van. Right. So tell us your uh, YouTube channel again. Becoming Bev. Right. So everyone go to Becoming Bev on YouTube and check her out. It's it's a great channel. Thank you, Bob. It's, uh, it, it's a, a feel-good channel. That means a lot coming from you. It, very, very true. Yeah, go, go there, everyone. Well, Bev, thank you so much for sharing your home and your life with us. Uh, it's such an inspiration. Thank you. You're so welcome. And everyone go to Bev's channel, Becoming Bev, and uh, be inspired. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. So, folks, I know you got something out of this video, so like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.